I'm a division manager for the technical support group in the Public Works Department for the City of Topeka. Um, as you all know, the city is making a very conscious effort um, to increase transparency within our city. We already have a number of applications and programs that are on the forefront of this objective. So today, I'm here to announce another tool in our citizens' pro portfolio, C-Click Fix Topeka. It is very exciting to be talking about this application today because it allows for very simple citizen engagement with a huge impact. It allows residents to create quick and easy service requests. Some of these issues might be potholes, code compliance, snow and ice hazards, or water quality. And they can make these requests through a simple, free smartphone app available on the Android and the iOS platforms. So, it's very simple to use this application. You simply see an issue, you click on your app to report the issue, and it reports to us to fix the issue. So, C Click Fix Topeka. There are three primary goals with implementing C Click Fix Topeka. The first is to receive report feedback from our citizens about what's going around in our city because we can't be everywhere at the same time. The second is to educate our citizens on city services and operations. And the third is to streamline our operations to provide more timely and transparent information. So I would also like to announce the first 50 people that submit a request on C Click Fix will have the opportunity to choose from a water bottle or some sunglasses. Um, you'll receive an email confirmation once your request has been submitted to come pick them up either at the zoo or the holiday building. How long do you expect it to take between when somebody reports something and when it's able to be processed by the city? After they report the issue, it's instantaneously sent to us. Um, the fixing of the issue is a different story. It completely depends on what type of issue they reported. Did you guys build this app yourself or did you use a, a No, vendor? we have purchased this app from C Click Fix. Do they, they have other cities in Kansas that use this app? In Kansas, I'm not too sure about that. Okay. So there's like a, you can kind of report general issues to the police. What kind of issues are those be? Obviously not crime, but. Yeah, definitely do not use this as a you know, replacement for 911. Um, some of the issues that you can report to police if somebody's been speeding down your street, you want them to come do some traffic enforcement on your street, or just you know, general requests from the police department. Will these reports be able to be viewed publicly by other people using the app? Like if someone wants to report an icy spot on the road that needs to be salted down, will other people be able to know about that spot? Yes, they will. Um, do you have a plan in place to deal with maybe like false reports or I guess trolling or this? Yeah, we definitely do. We have a um, we're going to be monitoring it on our on our own end, own end but also C Click Fix has the ability to filter out kind of trolling or erroneous bad language. I, I can call something in on my phone. But why is it important to continue to expand with technology and and do new things like this for your citizens? <clears throat> um, I honestly believe that our citizenry is. That's how they expect to act with, with their city government nowadays. They don't want to have to walk down, visit three different offices to get their issue reported, or even pick up the phone. So now they can just do it while they're on the go. How important are photographs of issues to the city in trying to ascertain how complicated it is to fix something? <clears throat> Very important. Uh, the app does have the ability to take a picture and attach it to the service request, and that helps us um, because then it prevents us from having to go out in the field and try to, one, figure out what we're looking for, we have a picture of what we're looking for, and it can also save us a lot of time. I saw there was a $35,000 startup cost. Yes. Is there a yearly fee to pay to see click fix? Yes, there's an annual maintenance fee. Do you know what that is? Or? Not quite yet. We've okay. only cracked contractor for the first year. Okay. How much longer will the uh, E311 app and that system still be in place running parallel with this? And when when should citizens really stop using one to switch to the other? <clears throat> they should stop using each one and one immediately. Um, they should also, we also anticipate that we're going to work through those issues throughout the spring, and then we'll see which of them will be strong. Thank you. All right, so I think we're going to go out and play with the app, and you guys can see how the app works, and then also kind of what we see on, on our end internally for operations. 